The other day, Lisa and I were working on our new Facebook page header, and this is the graphic we ended up with. So I thought this would be an excellent tutorial for you, because the cool thing is, I'm going to make this entire image in under two minutes, using the Graphics Creator by Laughing Bird Software. <laughs> Hey there, creatorpreneurs. Welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday video. My name is Mark Sylvester, and this is my wife, Lisa. Together, we created a graphics program called the Graphics Creator. And today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a graphic just like this. So Facebook has recently changed their layout, and we had to recreate uh, the graphic at a different size. So we fired up the online version of the Web Graphics Creator. We have two versions, a desktop app for Mac and Windows and something you can log into online. So I'm gonna log into my account really quick and then scroll down and pick some template set. It doesn't really matter for this tutorial. And I happen to be in the ad creator right now. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is create a blank canvas at 940 by 352. So let's just try that really quick. So we're gonna come over here to the ad, well, okay, mine says admin, yours is not gonna say admin. <laughs> Uh, so, yours will say file, okay? But I'm gonna go to admin and I'm gonna select new design and I'm gonna create the canvas so that it's 940 by 352, Facebook's new size. Okay, rather than go through the motions and create the graphic at this size, I'm gonna tell you this is too small. It'll fit, Facebook will like it, but it's going to be a little bit grainy. So to save time, what we found out we could do is double this number. So instead of 940, going to make it, uh, what is that, uh, 1880 by, what is that, 704, I think, that's double. Okay, and then hit return. So there is our blank canvas, it's double the size, and when you import this into your Facebook area here, it'll look really nice and really sharp. So the first thing I need is my logo. I already have it ready. The other thing we that we like are tropical backgrounds. So in the graphics creator, it's super easy. We can come up here to photos and videos and we can try, type, <laughs> type in something like tropical and let's see what comes up. Okay, get a whole bunch of nice, nice images. So you can keep scrolling and looking, uh, look for a, a perfect graphic and you can also come up here, let's close this for a minute come up here to photos and videos again and this time we're going to use the videos tab and we're going to do the same thing type in tropical and another window pops up these are now uh, movies they're videos okay and if you roll your mouse over them you can see that the video moves to give you a preview of what it looks like so after looking for the videos we wanted we found that this one is almost perfect so we just downloaded it and it will download to your default downloads folder, which for me, it's my downloads folder. And here's the video. All I have to do is drag it right onto the canvas, make it big. All right, pretty cool. Send it to the back. Put the little laughing bird right there. Okay, so the next thing we wanted was our smiley little faces here. And we happen to be lucky enough to have a daughter who just graduated as a film major. She's working her way up to the big time by practicing her photography. And she took a terrific picture of, of Lisa and I. She made us look really good. <laughs> and that's hard to do for one of us. So the next thing we had to do was figure out how to delete the background. Now, I can take this into Photoshop and delete it. Um, the graphics creator won't delete a, a complex background like this, so we couldn't use that. So I found a tool. I'm gonna come back up here to, to the interwebs, and I'm gonna uh, type in something called remove.bg, remove background. And this app, I'm telling you, this is an online tool. This is such a cool time saver um, application. I just, I just love it. So all I have to do is click on the upload image, open it, and watch how quick this is. There's the picture and bam, it's done. <laughs> I mean, that removed the background and you can still see my nice round bald head. And <laughs> it's, it's, it was just amazing how quick it is. And it knew that we were the subject and that that was the background. Okay, so I'm gonna download this for now, but they also have uh, a high-res version of the image. And for, for Facebook, because it's such a small graphic, I'm gonna choose to keep it semi-low-res, but I can actually download a high-res that looks crisp and clear. But for that, they actually charge a price, and the pricing here is 
um, for 200 credits. Each graphic you download is one credit. So you can download 200 credits for about 39 bucks. And this is $39 a month. Or you pay as you go. Now, I don't think you're going to be doing, you know, dozens and dozens of pictures a month. But maybe once or twice, you know, to pay, you know, two bucks for one credit. That's, it's a, it's a great deal. And it works good with the graphics creator because watch this. Now all I have to do is come back to my downloads folder and drag the new Mark and Lisa onto the canvas. And there we are. And what's cool about this is I can make... Uh, take Lisa's edge of her, her, of her head right here and click on that one more time and then create a small image drop shadow and angle it right like that not too far and blur it a little bit and bring the opacity way down so it's not so strong and it looks like she's sitting she's standing right in front of the laughing bird logo <laughs> So if you get nothing else out of this tutorial today, this is a very powerful thing to have for all of your graphics. I love it. Okay, the other thing really quick that Lisa actually had a, a terrific idea. There's on, on the Facebook pages, okay, so people can come to your Facebook page and look at all the stuff you do. But typically people come to a page and they don't really do much. But there is a mechanism that you can um, create a button. And we happen to have an app, but it could say go to a page or shop or there's a few more options when you're the admin of a page. And when you click on this button, it goes to the URL that you set in your admin. So to tell people to click on the button, she decided we should make a very clever call to action that tells the user to click that use app button. And this will allow you to download the trial version, and, you know, play with the app and stuff. So to make this really cool button, it's very easy, very quick. Come over here and we're going to come over here and we're going to create a new rectangle and we're going to position it right about here a little bit behind the laughing bird logo by going to send further okay and now we're going to create some new text and we're going to manipulate it a little bit come over here really quick to text format and i happen to know the font i want it's called righteous if you've seen my other tutorial videos you can find out how to get a, a perfect font by using the Google font tool. So go ahead and check out some of my other videos and you'll see how easy this is to use. There is a really cool Facebook header with a call to action and our little faces cut out so we look really cool over, the, over this banner. Okay, so this is a video and we liked it because it was nice and tropical. So when we eventually saved it to our Facebook uh, image, we simply hit the download button here which downloaded the graphic. It did not download the video. To make a video out of this, I have another tutorial on how to use uh, motion backgrounds with the graphics creator. But basically when you click on images, okay, the menu here changes to an image menu control. And if you click on text, it'll change to text, a text menu. And if you click on a video, which is the ocean here, click on that, it'll change to uh, video recording features. So you can record as an animated GIF, or you can record the video. Okay, and so for this tutorial, I'm not going to walk you through this because it's kind of in-depth. But one more thing I do want to try, what if I also wanted to use this on my YouTube channel? What I want to do now, really quick, is I want to save it. Okay, and I've already saved this to save time. <laughs> now I'm going to come over here and click the Format Canvas button, and you'll see these three buttons. Because I like this graphic so much, I want to really quick make a YouTube um, banner out of it. So I'm going to check this little YouTube design. And what that does is that it blows the whole canvas up into a gigantic thing with a bunch of colors. Now I just have to reposition all of my graphics to fit into this green, this light yellowish area. And once that's positioned correctly, I can turn this off. Okay, it looks, whoops, let's get this in here too. Okay, go back to Format Canvas really quick and let's just see if we have everything set in there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, cool. Once it's saved now, I can come over here to File and I'm going to download it to my Downloads folder. And I'll call this YouTube Banner, I guess. Cool. Easy. Download. And then I'm going to come up here to another browser tab. I love having everything online. That's why I like the Web Graphics Creator because it's online. And I got my background removal tool and I got my YouTube channel. And I can do this really quick. Awesome. Okay, so when you're an admin in YouTube, you have this little tool up here that lets you change the banner. So I'm going to click on this little tool. 
I'm going to come over here to select uh, the graphic from my computer and it's in my downloads folder there's the YouTube banner if I double click it cool now if you remember all those colored lines okay this is going to be viewed on a mobile device this longer lighter thing is going to be viewed um, as the banner on a desktop and then this bigger image here is going to be viewed on like an Apple TV or a Roku TV when somebody visits a, a YouTube channel which you can see back in YouTube you can see there's the desktop there's the TV and there's the mobile and everything fits and now I'm going to select this because I like it and watch this change to the perfect size. Bam. Cool. Now once I'm done here, I'm going to change the click this use app button because there is no use app button. I'll say watch the videos below or something cool. <laughs> I'll just go back and modify it. So that's it. And that's how to use the graphics creator to create a really great Facebook and YouTube page header. Well, awesome. Thanks for watching. I hope you got a lot out of this tutorial. If you liked it and if you like my channel, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below because I love talking to you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Oh, oh, oh.